Hi everyone, it's Marcy Masura with OC and Me, exclusively for OCFamily.com. And today I'm standing in a sweet place to be. This is Balboa Candy on Balboa Island. It's one of two locations down here in the city of Newport Beach. And let me tell you, this is a great place to be. They sell predominantly retro candies, but they sell tons and have the largest selection of saltwater taffy. I was told by the owner that they sell up to 8,000 pounds per month during the summer months. But I think I'd encourage you to come down in the winter months. It's just as sweet and it's just as good. Let's take a look around and see what we can find. Oh, jawbreakers or jawbusters or whatever, an orthodontist dream. Can you believe the size of this thing? When I was a kid, we used to stick these in my dad's vice in the garage to crack them open. That it still works. For the record, I just thought I'd let you know, the Pop Rock myth about the kid where his head blew up because he ate him with soda pop, it's a lie. I know. So come get your Pop Rocks. In addition to a huge selection of saltwater taffy and a lot of retro candies, what they also have here are current candies, but like crazy, crazy silly ones. This is comedy to me. It's dog food, only it's not. It's candy. And then of course, who doesn't like to get their candy out of a toilet? Maybe a Hello Kitty lipstick mirror candy? It's crazy, crazy stuff here. And I love all of it, because I never met a piece of candy I didn't like, even if it was in a toilet. You getting that? I'm definitely going to get this. It's awesome. Old fashioned hair? <laughs> For an old fashioned kid. One thing you cannot miss doing when you come to Balboa Island is getting a frozen banana. Now there's several places on the island and over in the fun zone that make the frozen bananas, but this one claims to be the original. They pretty much all taste the same, which is awesome. I'm excited. I'm taking my car and my kids on the Balboa Ferry. The whole car, not just us, on the ferry. Very cool. A little scared. Oh my god, I'm driving. That's right. Onto a boat. Oh yeah, because I'm a boat driver. Okay, I'm told. Oh, are they freaking out? This is not. This is crazy stuff. Dude, three cars a boat. Here we are, we have gone across the ferry and we are now in the fun zone and this typifies the fun zone. This is Bay Arcade, the original arcade here in the fun zone and this is where I hung out when I was a kid, plenty of times. And it's good, it's got skee ball, all the regulars, lots of new stuff and always my favorite, the photo booth. So uh, I have a sneaking feeling I'll be going in there in a little bit. It's poker. Okay. So you gotta roll. Three AC. That's really good. It's. Oh my God, Tucker! So this is Tucker. He's playing poker, kind of like the ball drop thing. You're never too young to learn to gamble. What did you guys get with all your tickets? I got rattlesnake eggs. You want to see them? Totally. What are they? I can't, I've never seen rattlesnake eggs. Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny to scare your mommy. <laughs> so, this is the history of Pizza Pete's Cafe. And not every pizza parlor deserves their own history plaque. But this building was originally a marine supply store in 1924. But since 1941, there have been three owners of Pizza Pete's, and every single one has been named Pete. Coincidence? I think not. Yeah. Jack, there's my car. It's nice of you to bring your rolls around for me. You're awesome. <laughs> 